This one's not accurate enough. <laughs> Flip over. It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Steve Hartman. That's Ray Romano with the late Doris Roberts. Romano won a huge following with his TV series, Everybody Loves Raymond. These days, he's still charming audiences on stage and screen. Tracy Smith has our Sunday profile. Oh, oh easy. We're both going to be disappointed. <laughs> we saw you perform at the Comedy Cellar the other yeah. night. You saw a good one. Yeah, to us it looked like you killed. That one was one of my best ones I've had there. I got like I hope you have footage of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in, I'm in. Actor Ray Romano is shot. still at home on the stand-up stage. My wife, we, 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 we've we been married for a long time. His We're act has been always been about family, especially today. Anna, his wife of 30 years. We were going to dinner. She goes, can I go to dinner in this? Is this okay for dinner? And I looked at her and I said, yeah. And she looks at me and she goes, I don't even know why I ask you. <laughs> it's helped make him one of the biggest names say? in the business. But at 59, Ray Romano still has other dreams to chase. Hey, Bellers. In Get Shorty, a new TV series based on the Elmore Leonard book, he's a small-time film producer making a big studio movie with money Thanks. from some hardcore gangsters. Rick. Which movies you make? Oh, uh... I don't know if you've heard of them. Day of Reckoning, Out for Blood. Mm. Like everything else in the show, which premieres tonight on Epix, Ray's character is over the top. Just look at the hair. Want it? You can touch can it. Can I touch it? <laughs> Be careful. Oh, there's could, some product you, in you there. You might cut yourself. Okay, I may look like a, a small fish in a big pond, but I'm strictly legit. But oddly enough, Romano sees a lot of his neurotic character in himself. So getting into a character who's like that is a little bit easy. It's a little organic. You yeah. have those feelings Yes, I have inside. it, yes. I've always said, even though I'm, you know, I appear successful, that insecurity, that neuroses stays there. It's just at a different level. My, my saying is, before all this, I thought my cab driver hated me. And now I think my limo driver hates me. It's it's just moved on to another level. Yes. Look, I know how I feel. Okay, okay. Truth is, Ray Romano's hang-ups have kept us laughing for years. You know how you feel the day before you get the flu? Well, this is the day before that. <laughs> From 1996 to 2005, Everybody Loves Raymond ruled the primetime landscape. A real-ish TV family where people could see a bit of themselves. I'm a damn fine nurturer. Now get out of bed! Romano, who has four children of his own, was a natural as the big-hearted dad. Still, his success on the show didn't erase his own insecurity. I mean, you joke about these neuroses. Yeah. But you really are a happy, content guy. Yes, but there's still times where I struggle with things. Look, my kids are all good people. My wife is a good person. I'm, I have a happy marriage. Uh, I have, I can do what I want to do. So I am grateful and happy for that. But I, I'm no, no different than anybody else, really, I think, in that sense. That's why everybody loves you. Uh, <laughs> I hate myself enough to balance it out. Reading books again? <laughs> On the show, Ray was an average Joe from Queens with a loving but often annoying family, including his older brother, a New York City cop named Robert. Well, you wear the uniform everywhere now? I'm on a lunch break. They make us wear these for work. Richard, you live walk out of the house and Ray's real life older brother, brother Richard, who actually was an NYPD officer, helped show us around the Queens neighborhood where the Romanos grew up. Yeah, yeah. So this was the main schoolyard. Oh boy, now, this is it right here. First of all, it was the softball center of Queens. So were you not you cut school? Were you uh, not I was I was a horrible student. Yeah. No, I drove my mother crazy. Because funny, because now that I have kids. I feel like every time, I, I, every now and then I go, I have to apologize to my mother, because what they're doing to me, I did to her. 
When they weren't on the ball field, the three Romano boys, Richard, Ray, and Robert, would hang out down the street at Lillian Pizzeria. The old place is still here. And 40 years later, so are the owners, Tony and Lillian. How are you? How are you? How are you? Ray says they make some of the best pizza in New York. They definitely have the best music. <laughs> sure, it's the star treatment. But Lillian Pizzeria's favorite customer has been on kind of a roll lately. You've never talked to people about 9-11? No, what's your, what's your stance? In the movie The Big Sick, Romano and Holly Hunter are worried parents getting to know their critically ill daughter's Pakistani boyfriend, played by Kumel Nanjani. You ever play uh, You Can't Rhyme It? How does that go? It's it basically, you know, you, you try to find out a word, a real word that nobody can rhyme. Stonehenge. Yeah, see, you would win. Yeah. The film and Ray's performance are getting rave reviews, but Romano is humble as ever. Maybe because of a note his big brother wrote him long ago before Ray left for Hollywood. It's my brother Richard, um, he put a quote um, from the Bible uh, about, I'm not going to get it right, but it, the essence of it was. What is it uh, profit a man who gains the world but loses his soul? And I guess his, it was his way of telling me, good luck, but just remember us and who you, where you came from. I can get emotional. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to spring that. OK, anyway, yeah. So that was that. But it meant something yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. They're both my heroes, you know, because I, One's a cop, one's a teacher, and I tell jokes about poop, and I make so much more money than them. <laughs> yeah. My youngest son is uh, 16. I don't know how to describe him. In the end, it's family here's, here's that you, helped make Ray Romano a big star him. and keeps him the modest seen, guy everybody still to seems anymore. to love. You know, like my wife and I are in the kitchen, and he just walks through. I haven't showered in four days. Yeah. Do they give you a hard time about using them in your act? Uh, no, they don't. The kids love it. My wife, on occasion, oh, but whenever she complains about me using her as material, I, I tell her to go cry in a bag of money. <laughs> <laughs> it no, puts but, it I, in perspective. Uh, but she is, she, look, she gives me a lot of stuff. She gives me a lot of material. Uh, the Big Sick came out. One of the reviews was uh, Romano is stunning. And I read that to her. And she said, uh, they must have spelled stupid wrong. <laughs> yes. So I, I thank God I have her because it's half my act. <laughs>